Hi everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Mike. And today we're talking about a particularly famous building in Spain. A famous building in Spain. Yeah, you ever been to Spain? I have not, and that's why my face looks like this.、Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of a famous building in Spain. Okay, I'll help you out with a clue. This one、okay. is in the city of Barcelona. A famous which is building, northeast coast in the area. city of. Barcelona in the northeastern part of Spain. Yes. Yeah. No. Nothing. No. no. Okay. I, El, El Eiffel Tower.、Oh, <laughs> no, that's French. I'm no, just that's, that's being silly. Yeah. The、so, Tokyo. No, that's in Tokyo. No, yeah. Barcelona 101. No, no, no. no okay. I don't think that's it. Right. Well, I have actually、ah. been to Barcelona.、This、so you was, know what this building is. I do. Well, because just tell us. I've、then. been inside it and I've <laughs> climbed it. He's climbed it. It's、yeah. like you almost made it with your own hands. Yeah. It's so a. It's if you've been inside、famous. and if you've climbed. It, and if it's super famous, yes, I'm hoping you know the name of the building. It is.、Yes. It's it's the、uh, I can't pronounce it very well because、oh. I don't speak any Spanish.、Mm. It's I think Sagrada Familia. Sagrada Familia. Sacred family. The Sacred Family Building. Right. It's、okay. a, it's kind of a cathedral, but、oh. not quite. And what's more, even though it's been around a long time,、mm -hmm. it still isn't finished. What are they waiting? Oh,、wow. do they need money? We'll have to read through the article to find out more about this building. Let's check it out. Okay. Reading. Spain's most famous church finally gets a building permit. Something surprising has happened to Barcelona's most iconic building, and no, it's still not finished. This June, the Sagrada Familia finally got a building permit, 137 years after its first bricks were laid. It isn't clear why the world-famous church didn't have permission for so long. Its architect, Antonio Gaudí, applied for one from San Martí de Provenzal, where the Sagrada Familia was previously located. However, a permit was never given. And in 1897, the town became part of Barcelona. Not much happened with the application until recently. Then, last year, the church was forced to pay 46.1 million U.S. dollars to Barcelona's government to correct the problem. For now, the Sagrada Familia's legal troubles haven't delayed any work on the building. It is reported that it will be completed in 2026. A century after Gaudí's death, however, the project is known for its extremely slow progress. With that in mind, its millions of visitors will have to see that deadline be met to believe it. So the article begins by saying something surprising has happened to Barcelona's most iconic building, and no, it's still. Not finished. What are they waiting for? Well, we'll find out.、Uh, and still not finished is kind of a clue there that this has been going on a long time. That's right. It's more like a hundred years or something crazy. We'll see that in a moment. First, let's look at the word iconic. Iconic is an adjective, and it describes an icon. And an icon is something or someone that's regarded as a perfect example of something. We can also use iconic to describe someone or something that is worthy of being loved. People call it great. An iconic singer is a really great singer. An iconic sports player is amazing at sports. This building is a great example of Barcelona's buildings. It's what people might imagine when they think of the city, and it's also something people love and admire. As I said, books, films, sports stars—they can all be icons. People admire them, so we can use the word iconic to describe them. Okay, so I guess yeah, we could say that Taipei 101、yes. is an iconic building here in Taiwan. That is so right. There you go. People see it, they know what it is, and probably even know where it is.、Mm. All right. So back to the article. It says this June. So this year, in the month of June, this June, the Sagrada Familia finally got a building permit. 137 years after its first bricks were laid. 
Aren't they kind of doing this the wrong way around? Well, yes, with a with the、mm. idea that before you start building, you should get a permit. That's right, because a permit this is a noun, and it's basically a legal license to do something. You've heard of a driver's license. Well,、mm-hmm. in some parts of the world, they would also call that a driver's permit. You have to be over a certain age, sixteen or eighteen,、yeah. take some classes, take a test. Pass the test, and then this permit that you get after that will legally let you drive a car. If everyone, if anyone says you can't drive a car, you'd say I have a permit. This lets me do it. If you have any trouble, the police will look at it, and it'll be fine. So、mm-hmm. if you're putting up a new building, changing a building, doing things like that, you also probably need a permit to make sure the government knows what you're doing, and you do it safely, and everything is legal.、Mm-hmm. For example, we could say in Canada, people need to get a permit before they are allowed to own a gun. You can't、okay. just walk into a store and buy a gun. You need to get a permit. So let me get this straight. They've been building this church、yes. for 137 years. Yes, going back to the 1800s. Still not finished. It's still not finished, and they only just got the legal building license or building permit. This year, yes. Did they get lost on the way to the building permit office for 137 years? It, that they would, just couldn't find it. It's a very small building. I don't know because, in fact, very few people know. The article explains it isn't clear why the world famous church didn't have permission. For so long, so that world famous church that、mm. explains what the Sagrada Familia is.、Mm. It is a church. It's a place where people go to pray, to worship, possibly to have weddings because it's not quite finished. I'm not sure if people、mm. do have weddings there.、Mm-hmm. I've seen this building. I've been up to the top. The roof is still being worked on. Some of the walls. It's really fancily designed. It's got amazing architecture and. As as has a lot of Barcelona. Yeah,、and、it's all the work of one guy. That's right. Tell us about this、If、guy. If you've ever been to Barcelona or plan to go, you will be familiar or become familiar with this architect. It says its architect, this cathedral's architect, Antonio Gaudi. Applied for one from Sant Martí de Provençal,、mm. where the Sagrada Family was previously located. So this architect is also an artist. I yes, think. he's, he's a bit of everything. An architect, an artist, lived around the time of Picasso, and you know、I、people like that、so, a bit、yeah. earlier than that, possibly. But anyway, very modern kind of art. So he was the guy. Apparently, they they applied for a permit, but it got lost in the mail. We don't know what happened. But anyways, Antonio Gaudi is a very important name when you want to know anything about Barcelona and art in Spain. Here we're talking about him as being an architect. Now, an architect is basically a person who designs buildings. They're the person who will get the ideas for the buildings, draw it out on big pieces of paper, and then when they start to build the building, the architect won't be in there telling. Them, you know, put the steel here or hammer this here, but they work with the people doing that work to make sure the building comes together. So they kind of have the ideas for the buildings, draw the pictures, but the actual building will be done by groups of other people. The architect, though, is the one who thinks it up, is the creative mind behind designing buildings. So the architect he applied for the building permit in a different place. To apply for something is to formally ask for something. So permission to do something, permission for a license or a permit. You could apply for a job because you're asking for official permission to work at this company. You usually apply for something by filling out a form and giving that form to the person or organisation in charge. So you could apply for a visa to work abroad, for example, or you might want to apply to get married somewhere and have the government recognise it. In this case, the architect applied for building permission. And we also had this adverb previously. Previously is basically talking about something that happened before. We often use this when telling a story, and we're kind of showing you what happened first, and then second, and then third. 
Well, if you want to talk about something that happened before another action, you could use this adverb previously. For example, my new bike is my new bicycle is red. The one I owned previously was silver and black. So the one I own now is red. The one I owned before or previously was a different color. Okay, so Gaudi did try to get permission to build this building. Right. The article says, however, a permit was never given, so he never got the permission.、Mm -hmm. And in 1897, the town, this Sant Martí de Provençal or、mm -hmm. whatever,、mm -hmm. became part of Barcelona. So it was maybe just an area outside. The city spread, and now instead of being a separate town, it's part of the whole city of Barcelona. So he still applied for this permission, but it was in a place that doesn't quite really exist anymore. Interesting. Yeah. Very strange. So it's almost like he went there, he did all the paperwork, and then before they finished it, they closed the office and、yeah. moved all the workers, and everything kind of just got lost. So、it was of. sort of lost in the mail. Yeah, or they weren't sure. Well, is this supposed to be for here or for、right. here, or can we count it? Do you need to start again? The fact that he died also complicated matters. True, and of course, this was a long time ago before they had computers and putting data on the cloud. Everything was on paper, and if the paper got lost, it kind of just stopped. And as it says, not much happened with the application until recently. Yeah, yeah. apparently for more than a hundred years, no one really cared. I mean, I guess if you're putting up one of the world's biggest, weirdest churches, yep, someone the police aren't going to come down、like, and go, "Oi, stop." Excuse me, can we see your paperwork? Yeah, you know this is a bit of a special building project, and they just sort of kept going without the right papers. That's right. Now we said nothing happened until recently,、mm. and we use the word "until" to mean before this time. So something happened recently, but before that, nothing did. We could also say "till" t i l l. So not much happened with the application. Till recently, so what we're talking about with this kind of grammar is a situation that's changing after the time frame you give. Something was happening, then it wasn't, or something wasn't happening until this, then it was. Here's an example: I didn't start learning Chinese until I came to Taiwan. Oh, okay. You could have also said I didn't start learning Chinese till、yeah. I came to Taiwan. Just a more casual way of saying that word. And we also had this thing: application. An application—it's basically a document that you would use. You would fill out information on. You put your name and other important data or info like that. And generally, use applications when we're trying to get permission to do something.、Mm. All right. If you want to get a passport, that government document that you use when you travel to other countries, you don't just say, "Hey, I'm here. Give me my passport." No, they have to know about you: your name, your birth date, your age, where you're from, your address. Things like that. So you put all that stuff on the application, give it to someone, they check it. If everything is cool and fine, then you will be allowed to do something. Get、yeah. your passport, apply for a job, go to a school, things like that. Where they can't just let anyone do it. You have to ask or apply first. That's the verb, and that's why we call it an application or an application form.、Mm. Right. So Gaudi did put in this application. Yes. Nothing happened until recently. He's trying to do it right. Yep. But as the article says, then last year the church was forced to pay forty-six point one million U.S. dollars, <coughs> a huge amount of money. <coughs> so, and they. <laughs> It's already six point one million U.S. dollars. It's huge, and、That's、they were. That's a lot of money. They were so the church, the people who were still kind of in charge of running and building this thing, they had to pay Barcelona's government to correct the problem. The problem being, we don't know what's going on with the application. But. but But they tried to do the application. That just seems mean.、Mm. But anyways, it says for now the Sagrada Familia's legal troubles haven't delayed any work on the building. All right. Remember, this is a cathedral. The big international church is involved. I'm sure there's lots of people who might help them with the money. But still, forty-six million dollars is a lot of money. But As it says, it hasn't delayed any work on the building. The building is still going up. Workers are still showing up every day.
So just there we had this phrase, for now. We were talking about how the church had this, these problems, they have to pay this huge amount of money, but we're saying also, at this time, at the present time, they are still working on the building. That's how we use this phrase, for now. We're talking about the way things are now. They could change in the future. We're not saying that things won't change, but we're saying, if you take a picture of the situation right now, this is how it is. You can often think about this as being something you would use to talk about the weather. You know, oh, it's going to rain later, but for now, it's a beautiful day. At this time, it's great, but yes, it could change later. For example, we could also say, I'm okay with my current job for now, but I'd love to work for a video game company one day. So at this time, my job's great, but in the future, I would like to change. So in that sentence, we talked about there being these legal mm. difficulties, legal problems. And legal is an adjective meaning having to do with the law. If something is legal, you can do it. If something is illegal, it's against the law. But legal problems are problems with law. Here's another example of legal. A contract is a legal agreement between two parties. It's an agreement in law, recognized by law. Okay, so let's get back to the construction of the Sagrada Familia. It says, it is reported that it will be completed in 2026, That's... a century after Gaudi's death. Yeah, quite soon. So that is very soon, and that tells us they are going to complete it. Hopefully, uh, seven, six, seven years from now, to mm -hmm. complete something. This verb basically means to finish, all right? If you complete something, you could also say you finish something. For example, it took Seymour and his sister six hours to complete the jigsaw puzzle. Could I use finish in that sentence? It took them six hours to finish the jigsaw puddle? puzzle? Yes, perfectly okay, too. Okay, so we're hoping for 2026. Fingers crossed. But as the article says, however, the project is known for its extremely slow progress. Mm. We already know it's been 137 years. We're going to put at least seven more. It's not quick. Eh, why don't they just try to go to 200? Mm. Nice round number. So in that last sentence, we use the word extremely. It's extremely slow progress. Extremely is an adverb and it means very. So it's like a really strong one. It's not just very slow, it's extremely slow. The weather isn't just hot in Taiwan in the summer, it's extremely hot. It's hot to a great degree. Here's another example. Northern Russia is extremely cold during the winter. And what we're saying is that the progress mm. is really slow. Progress or progress, I guess. That's right. Progress, progress. Both uh, uh, pronunciations are okay for this noun. But whatever way you say it, it means moving towards a goal. Moving forwards, basically. We often talk about people making progress on a project or something like that. It gives us the idea that this is difficult, it's going to take some time and hard work, maybe some different steps or stages, but you're making forward movement, you're making progress. Now we can also use this as a verb mm -hmm. to talk about moving forward. There you would change the pronunciation, put the stress on the end. Progress yes. towards your goal, or if you're moving towards your goal, you're making progress or progress. For example, for the noun form that we're talking about, we could say, although my classmates and I haven't finished our science project, we made good progress on it over the weekend, and it's only due on Thursday. Okay, that's yeah. all right then. You're moving forward. We're you move forward. You got a lot done. We You're got a lot closer done. to the end. That's it. Uh, unfortunately, with this Sagrada Familia, mm -hmm. progress is slow. The, they build very slowly. It is very difficult. The architecture is very unusual. True. It's very distinctive. And to get it right and to get all the support in place is taking a lot of time. Mm. So that's why the article says, with that in mind, its millions of visitors will have to see that deadline be met to believe it. In other words, like, okay, you say 2026, sure, when it's done, I will believe you. Otherwise, I'm not really going to get my hopes up. Yeah. It's taken 137 years. How do I know it's not going to take another 50? Okay. Ne never mind seven. What well, could take 50 more years? Mm -hmm. Now, that sentence started with, with that in mind. We use this to mean considering the fact 
and we use the fact that was in the previous sentence. It's something we've already mentioned. So the that is a pronoun for the fact that we've given before. Okay, so we use something, we say something, we say mm -hmm. considering that fact mm -hmm. or with that in mind, this is the result of that fact. Okay. It's a good transition sentence to link a fact that you've just given to the result or some further information about that fact. Here's an example. A typhoon is going to hit this weekend. With that in mind, we'll cancel our barbecue. Okay, so that's one of the big things. It's an important factor in mm. this second thing. You have to think about that to understand what's going on in the other part. And here we have a deadline. Yes, oh. of course, they say they're going to be finished by 2026. That's the deadline they've given themselves, but we're not going to totally believe them. But generally with deadlines, you should believe them because basically a deadline is a date or a time that a certain type of work or a certain project or something needs to be finished. You know, if you do your homework, if you have homework from school and your teacher says, I want your homework on my desk on Monday morning, Monday morning is the deadline. Mm -hmm. If you're working in a job and your boss has a quick project, you have to do this work and get it done by 4 p.m. 4 p.m. would be your deadline. That's the due date. It's the time when the project or work or whatever should be done. And if you go over, uh, there could be trouble. Yeah, there could be. So there's the idea of a deadline is if you don't meet it, there might be a consequence. Mm. For example, if you don't do the job on time, you might get paid less money sure. or not at all. Mm. If you don't hand in your work to your teacher on time, you will lose marks. The work could be great, but because it was late, you will get a worse grade. That's right. So the so here, I don't think they will. No one will be punished no. for finishing this church late. No. But so in this case, there aren't but they really do want to finish this thing because it's been going on for so long. Mm -hmm. But as the article says, we will have to wait and see. Join us again in seven years to see if, it manage, if they manage to do it. I'm not going to book my plane tickets yet. No, just no. yet. But thing is, I've been to this building. It's mm -hmm. still amazing to walk around and visit and see, even though it's not finished. It's still great. People do visit it. That brings us to the end of this article, so now it's time for today's For You Chat. For You Chat. So the chat is mm. about iconic buildings. The That's Sagrada right. Familia is an iconic building. So the question is, think of an iconic building you have visited. What makes it different? So you must admit, there's, I've been to one in your city, the city that you're from. Really? That, that church that's down by the, the river. Ah, uh, yes. Notre Dame Cathedral that's it. Basilica. The, Cathedral yeah, the Basilica, 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 Basilica. The Notre Dame yeah. Basilica in, in Montreal, Montreal. Canada, yes. Yeah. Celine Dion got married there. Yeah, so that makes it different. That makes it special. <laughs> yeah. It's a very old, very, very beautiful church is, nice. is what it is. So yeah. that was one. Uh, Taipei 101 is sure. an iconic building. Why is it different? It's huge. Mm -hmm. It's really big. Uh, the Tokyo Sky Tower, the Sky ah, Tree. Oh, yes. Been to that one. That one's pretty iconic, although yeah. it's kind of new, but it's definitely up there. Yeah. The, the Tower of London Ooh, and, and the Tower Bridge that goes across the river next to it. Uh, sure. Very beautiful, very old, full of history. Mm hmm. Um, I could I could probably think of more that I've been to it. So I've been to the Eiffel Tower, but I was mm -hmm. a kid, so I can't really remember it. Okay. Uh, It'd be longer lines if you go back now. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. I expect. So I've been to the uh, the Temple or the Palace of Light mm -hmm. in Bangkok. Oh, okay. It's, it's kind of a really interestingly carved mm. set of temples and their royal palace, oh. which is kind of full of gold kind of walls and ceilings. And you can't wear shorts in there. You have to wear long pants and stuff. There's a good tip. To kind of show respect for what's going on. Cool. So surely, of all I've mentioned a load, mm -hmm. there must be at least some. Oh, you've sure. Been the, to. the Acropolis in Greece. That's in amazing. Athens, the Parthenon, Angkor Wat. Yeah, of course, You've been which there? is really a collection of buildings over like wow. 40 miles. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, Tokyo Tower, sort yeah. of before the sky tree. Buckingham they Palace. Have, I've, I've never been inside. I've been in I've part of it. Been inside. My parents got to go inside. Wow. Aren't they lucky? But yes, of course, if you go to the old cities of Europe, there's lots of iconic yeah. buildings. And we have to, of course, mention the Empire State Building in been New there. York. Been there, yep, been up there. Other famous ones. So what about you guys? We've listed off 
10 or 20 10 or so, but there's hundreds and hundreds of more. Think of an iconic building you visited and what made it special, what made it different, and what are some of your memories of your visit there? Okay, thanks for watching everybody for English for You. I'm Pat. I'm Mike. We'll talk to you again soon. See you in Bye. Barcelona. Spain's most famous church finally gets a building permit. Something surprising has happened to Barcelona's most iconic building, and no, it's still not finished. This June, the Sagrada Familia finally got a building permit, 137 years after its first bricks were laid. It isn't clear why the world-famous church didn't have permission for so long. Its architect, Antonio Gaudí, applied for one from San Martí de Provençal, where the Sagrada Familia was previously located. However, a permit was never given, and in 1897, the town became part of Barcelona. Not much happened with the application until recently. Then, last year, the church was forced to pay 46.1 million US dollars to Barcelona's government to correct the problem. For now, the Sagrada Familia's legal troubles haven't delayed any work on the building. It is reported that it will be completed in 2026, a century after Gaudí's death. However, the project is known for its extremely slow progress. With that in mind, its millions of visitors will have to see that deadline be met to believe it. Vocabulary Review Permit You'll need a permit to enter this area of the government building. Previously Lisa lives in Taiwan now, but she previously lived in South Korea. Legal the police officer suggested a good lawyer to help the man with his legal problems. Complete I can't go to the movies with you until I complete my homework. Extremely Hippos run extremely fast and can be very dangerous to humans. Progress Humans have made great progress in technology over the past 50 years. Iconic Architect Application Deadline Yishang